Hello everybody and welcome back to Delta Room where you join me in the King's Throne Room. It's uh, full of spades so it actually might be Lancer's Throne Room, I'm not really sure, we'll see. Going along this big old corridor. Hello Lancer, haven't seen you in a while. Hey, there's Lancer! Is that the king? Father! Is the king a giant spade too? Lancer, my son! Have you dispatched the lighteners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong and... Where are they now? Um. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. Oh, look at his little face. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, no, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. Ha, 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 ha. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll, he'll... Little kneels. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the... You... You traitor, come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you. I am the bad guy. What on earth? Uh. Um. Okay, I, I should be expecting something like that from someone who came up with the flowery monster. Still, I, w I was a bit taken aback by, by the king. So King blocked the way, we're gonna act on the King. Um, I'm gonna talk to the King. I'm gonna get Susie to defend, and I'm gonna get Ralsei to also defend. You try to reason with the King. Silence, Lightbringer, your very existence goes against our own. By the Knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Sorry, I'm not doing my posh voice anymore. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. How dare you come here, Lightners? Oh yeah, oh, no, 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 I'm not dodging very well. Susie took a bit of hurt there. Darkness pours from the fountain. Now I have courage. Defense boost to 25. Malfate, disband, you encouraged the party, the party's defence raised for this turn. You that left us in the shadows stripped of meaning. Whoa! Don't, don't move the box around. What? No, no, no. The king's mouths babble indecipherably. It's easy to talk to him. 
And Ralph's here to defend. Let's see what happens there. Susie tried to raise it with the king. All right, listen up. Lance is my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Hmm. All right, you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. You dare return us to torment. Sorry, you dare return to torment us once again. Whoa, whoa. What's, what's the lines for? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. King's mouth gave a berserk smile. Do a red buster. Oh. Red damage. Mm, let's see what a red buster is. I defend. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Susie used red buster. That actually does damage. Be gone, we have found fresh purpose. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get me out of this box! No, Susie's like dead now! Darkness pours from the fountain. I had a save just before this fight, though, so that's cool, right? Um, let's see what Ralsei does. Ralsei tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightness you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Ralsei's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. For the night has appeared. Whoa! I don't like this one! Oh, to be honest, it's more about going sideways, isn't it? Darkness pours from the fountain. Heals everyone 50. Your soul shined its power on Ralsei. I'll say cast jewel heal. Fabulous. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Mm, I don't like this at all. Oh. No. Oh. 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 Well, let's check him. Um, King's mouth keep a berserk smile. Defend. King, abandoned by the lightness, his heart became cracked with hatred. You cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world! I have no choice but to not give up. The battlefield is rumbling. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Haha, -ha, do you see our new purpose? I just want to see what happens if we all die. I'm interested in that. The king's mouth babble indecipherably. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness and darkness shall rule it. I don't know if we just have to get through his monologue. Possible. The king's mouth babble indecipherably. Ralph says back. Okay. I don't have enough TP for all of this stuff. You may see what it is like to live in despair. King's mouth gave a berserk smile. So I actually want, if I don't have enough TP, I kind of want to defend. I'm just gonna defend. Now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. It's horrible! 
I don't like the chain of justice. The chain of justice sucks. No. Are we all are we dead yet? I find it interested. Ha! Quite the strong. Sorry, you're quite strong, aren't you? I'm nearly dead. Nothing about strong. Are we all dead? I just wanted to see whether that will actually... It appears you have reached an end. Will you try again? Yeah. Then the future is in your hands. Right, so we're going to try that fight again because I was kind of interested whether continually defending and things would help and, and I don't want to use the red buster on him. Um, so I'm gonna, and I, I need to remember to use my TP properly and all this sort of thing. I know we've got to go through this dialogue again, but uh, that was a hard fight. I had items I could have used and things like that, but I had this kind of, I wanted to rule out, okay, that dying to the king wasn't what was going to make him decide to change his mind. It's not, so that's cool. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. It, it went through that whole scene really quickly again. That was nice. King blocked the way. Interesting. It's almost like you're supposed to die. Very interesting. And I've still got the dual heal and everything all up. Very, very interesting. Check the king. I want to see what he's up to. Can't be reasoned with. Don't give up. I won't give up. How dare you come here, Lightners. I've already taken a hit. Good. Oh, two hits. Darkness pours from the fountain. So, Chris defend. Susie defend. I'll say defend for this turn. You left us in the shadow, stripped of meaning. It might just be that he has to get through his... Uh... Oh, no. Battlefield is rumbling. Interesting, so it puts us part way through the fight if we have to start again. That's really interesting. Right, we've got dual heal now. I think we have to get through a load of dialogue. Defend. Your soul shined its power on Ralsei. Ralsei cast dual heal. You dare return to torment us once again. So again, we're, we're I was telling me where to avoid. Oh, I got hit on the last one. Defend. 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 But you'll heal next time. Max TP. Be gone. We have found fresh purpose. Ow, 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 ow. That was bad. The battlefield is rumbling. Oh, don't defend, don't defend, don't defend. I know, I want to go back, I want to go back. I want to change. I need dual heal. I'm trying to spare the king. Your soul shined its power on Ralse. Susie spared the king, but his name wasn't yellow. That's fine. Sometimes you can spare when names aren't yellow. There are no rules in this. Well, the knight has appeared. I really hate this one. I got hit three times on that. I can't do it. It's just too much for me. 58 TP, so I'll do another jewel heal. Night that pulls the fountains from the earth. Oh, it's this one again. Owie, ow. I don't like this one. This one sucks. I'll say he's dead. No. King's mouth gave a berserk smile. Okay, me and Susie just gonna defend. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world.
His mouth gave a berserk smile. Okay, I'm gonna do a courage. Sometimes that helps Ralph say come back, I think. You encouraged the party. The party's defense was raised for this turn. Aha, do you see our new purpose? No, I don't. I don't really care about your new purpose. I just care about not dying. Susie's the only one alive now. Let's try some... Um, healing varies. Lance's cookie heals 50 HP now, does it? Rules woo. I'm gonna use a dark boba on Ralsei, I think. Susie, use the dark boba! Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Ow. That's a big hit there. Darkness pours from the fountain. Heal prayer. Chris. I'll say cast heal. Then you may see what it's like to live in despair. Oh, it's this one again. Darkness pulls forth from the fountain. You'll heal from Ralse, please. Your soul shined its power on Ralse. Cast your heal, and we're back from the dead again. Now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. I'm trying really hard. Okay, so Chris and Ralse are still up. Battlefield is rumbling. Let's use a chalk diamond on Susie on Chris. Well, they can defend. Wow, that was good. But she's the Choco Diamond and got all of his stuff back. You're quite strong, aren't you? I like to try to be. I mean, I don't have enough for a jewel heal. Okay, and that's to use items again. Use a dark candy on Ralse, and then he can use your heal on people. And but she's the dark candy. If I keep fighting you like this, then uh... <laughs> his mouth bab babble indecipherably. I need more items. I'm just going to use everything I can. It seems that. I missed a couple of those. Mm. Let's use courage. Susie can defend. You encouraged the party, and it was my night. I shall not fail you. Oh, come on. When is this fight going to end? Is it maybe when I use Lance's cookie? Because that would be hilarious. Oh, really? Come on. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightners, I... Perhaps I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. I'm not doing my posh king voice again. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Uh, uh, Come now, Susie. Uh, I'm glad you're starting uh, to realise, Mr. King. Uh, None of us really want to fight. 
If you can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, friends. That sounds lovely. <coughs> My apologies, I am. I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Mwahaha! <laughs> Never better. You, Scallywag King! You! Did I say you could get up? Chris! Oh, spare me the heroics. No! You, you're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people, piss me off. Hey, get away from my friend. Heh 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 heh. Or what? Surely you must realize how exhausted I am, Lightner. Any hit from you would kill me. Why not do it, Lightner? Kill me and show my son how much you really care. <laughs> nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? If he's exhausted, you stupid, stupid lightning. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Just wait a second. Wait for what? Uh huh? Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Ralph says, got a pacify spell. Why you, you little, you sweet little pumpkin. Hey, Chris, you all right? That was close, Susie. I'm surprised you remembered my pacify spell. Hey, come on. I'd never forget something I made fun of you for. <laughs> Chris, Susie, I'm, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost, we almost... Susie, you were right. I, I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about, too. Everyone, you're okay! Lancer, hey. Sorry, I kind of beat up your dad. That's okay, it happens. Oh! It even looks like he's having a beauty nap. That's good. He seemed cranky. Man, you can say that again. Uh, Lancer, what's that noise? Oh, uh, oh, I actually came to warn you, clownlings. I informed the guys you were fighting with Dad, but instead of eagerly volunteering to help you, everyone just caught the freakouts. Now they appear to be, uh, breaking through the doors of the throne room. Well, uh, that's not the best. Chris, Susie, it seems that you must hurry to the fountain. No time for goodbyes, huh? Yes, of course, no goodbyes. We're bad guys, so we only have bad boys. Hehehe, <laughs> you've learned a lot, huh? Only from the best of the worst. Even the Sleeping King is laughing. Okay, I'll go stop the door. Later, dude. I love the laughs in this. It's so funny. Susie, Chris, if we must say goodbye, then um, I, I just wanted to say I, I, I really enjoyed meeting you two. And, and can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris, Susie, I...
Wow. Ralph C was like, is that Azrael? Uh, I hope I can see you again soon. Uh, Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, all right? Mm? I love Susie's surprise look, it's hilarious. Mm, yeah, sure dude. Haha. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Might use that as a thumbnail. Susie's surprise face, but I'll like cut Asriel out. I think it's Asriel. Okay, so that's not the end yet. We gotta get to the fountain. This fountain? I think so. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. It's a bit slow, isn't it? Right now. Time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Awesome guitar music. What now? What happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! Huh? The unused classroom? How do we get here? Hey, Chris? What... what just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying... Let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. Anything we can interact with around here? Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a light switch. I know there were ways we didn't go and things we didn't do in there. I don't know if we need to play it again or something, but it's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Oh, well, it makes sense. Like this is like the um, the games cupboard, and the whole thing was based on games. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Mm. Mm. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, all right? My locker and stuff. The locker is locked. Oh, the locker's locker is locked. The lock's locker is locked. I don't even know if I'm saying these things right anymore. Ah, I hate it when it goes through the doors like that. Oh, it makes me feel weird. I wasn't able to go this way before, was I? Like a whole other classroom. Ms. Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. K 
kids' books. Some of them used to be yours. Apple for teacher. Some kind of teacher food. Teacher food. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Sorry about these doors. Locker. It's locked. Locker. It's locked. Do you like breathing? Moving fast, with or without legs? But usually with legs. Join the cross-country team with Jockington and Noel. Okay. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Ew. Okay, let's go this way. Ring, ring! Chris? Wherever have you been? Sorry, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris! I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. We're out of school now. I'm just like walking around and... It's the library. Can we go in the library? Chris, what's up? Catty's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, oh, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. I love reading books, especially books upstairs. You should really read them. You looked through the window of the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. There we are. Please remember my name, please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. Lord of the Hammer. First in award-winning fiction series by Lord of the Historian Gerson Boom. Mm -hmm. There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavour text. Oh. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it on t into their catalogue. Oh no, I'd have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. It's <laughs> funny. What's, did I look at the notice board? I can't remember. There's an anime review. Read it. No, 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 no. Oh yes, yes. Teens Corner monthly tune review. Mew Mew Kitty Cutie do. <laughs> Alpha's his favourite. This reviewer had Mew Mew too as her first exposure to the series. This is actually Alpha's, isn't it? And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew one look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears, with a darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes ten seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one. It's more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, the anonymous yellow lizard. Who is Alphys? <laughs> Computer lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. Right, okay, so can we can we get past you? Oh, you like reading the books upstairs. Okay. Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Dark world. What? 
What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Wow, you're terrifying. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear as well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Cool, yeah, sure. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Yeah, sure. Oh, that was, uh... Rubbish. It's one of those sliding bed toys that naturally spawns inside the doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. <laughs> My doctor's office has one of those. That's so funny for the kids, anyway. Ah ha ha ha, Dad, I, I can't say... Sorry, I just can't say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noel, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. Ah, Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, House Dragon Blazers 3, beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... I'm kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, well, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Ha ha ha! Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Ah, oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly. It's some um, birdie. He's not that bad either, Dad. I'll kick his ass. Ahaha, <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window, I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Aww. Oh, hi, Chris. Patient name, Rudolph, Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forgot my name or something? Ah. Uh. Well, jingle my gosh darn balls. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mum make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? Mm. Noelle. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenceless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to even be afraid of the humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Hey, don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Illness. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap. So it's just some tea tests, sorry. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. It's a get well soon card from your mum. It's signed inside. Hey Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? Let's see what else we can say. Family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Asriel's off to college, do you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Here, I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woof! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with her key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. She makes a mean pie. It's a sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? <laughs> Let's go next door. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. This might be a long episode. 
I was kind of thinking this might be the end, but I was like, no. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using the ice E as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. Checked out the hospital. I wish I could remember your name. B station. You knocked on the door to the B station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just close the blinds. Oops. Okay. Right, there's a police barrier there. Okay, so we can't go that way. Are we walking home? Oh my goodness, this town is huge. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavours? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop down at Icy's Pizza. Pezza is pizza, I guess. Oh, no. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! QC's diner. Man, there's so many people in here. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat sense. So if you two girls, that'll be the crepes and a cinnamon latte. Two bunny parfaits and a piece of firewood. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Ice Wolf did not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those crepes were mad worth it, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. <laughs> Very true. You're alive! Nice. I'm working. Okay. Uh, we'll take the special. And do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. <laughs> Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, huh? I remember back on Sundays after the service. You and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then you all stopped coming together. Every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. And you'd sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, hun. Chocolate! Interesting. It's gone back to more like Undertale y. Ball of junk and hot chocolate. Hot chocolate topped with homemade marshmallows in the shape of bunnies. <gasps> Sans! Hello! Hey, look who's walking around! How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. That's very Sansy. Hey, bud! Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know? Sure. Wow, you were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But the distant trussle of bones. 
Oh, it'll be Papyrus's house, possibly. Well, no. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Wow, my mummy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> Crazy. Knock, knock, knock. Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. I'm back when you've gotten better at knocking. Oh, wow. Oh, it's the bird and the dude and... Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. Haha, -ha. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, Snowy and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Oh, Undyne! And that's the name! Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at a handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Haha! -ha. Ooh, you are lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. Ha ha ha. If I skip class, my dad will never let me hear the end of it. Ha ha ha. That's actually not even remotely funny. It's okay, then. Alphys, what are you doing in a... Oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. What are you doing? There's a saucer of milk. Oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Chalk. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow my homemade DVD collection of the symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family? got every episode on in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second season, since they just rebooted it as Simpsons 2. They all started driving their own motor vehicles and fighting giant giga demons and stuff, and the main problem about that is it kind of lost the focus on family that it had earlier, when their vehicles were shaped like animals. And they were friends with the animal vehicles too, and let's get into the Simpsons galaxy for where the Simpsons ah, on the other side of the, wouldn't the gravitational field just, huh? <sighs> I tried. You don't want to watch it. That's okay, Chris. I managed it with um, the Kissy Mew Mew 2 thing in Undertale, but that was too fast. It's a trash can full of well kept flowers. Aww. I like going through here and like seeing everybody. Nice. Hey, neighbor, neighbor. When's your brother Doug gonna come by, huh? My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Huh? 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 No, I bet he doesn't. Little Chrissy? Like, what's up? Give Aunt Catty a hug. Ha ha ha. I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god. Can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything, though. Your choice. Asriel. Oh my god, Asriel, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him. You know, I didn't speak. I didn't go through all the options with Alphys. I may need to go back. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Ha ha ha, that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Let's go through the other options. Sister. Ooh, how's Catty doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. <laughs> okay. Neighbours. Like that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see cat petters too. And the only other person in the theatre was her. And I went to QC's and ordered a cat Pacino. And she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Ah, uh, copysaurus? Copodile? Cop I don't know, she sucks. Okay. I'm going back. I'm going back to Alphys to do the rest of the dialogue options. I hope that's not too boring. Oh, oh of course I can run, can't I? Let's run. 
days. Right. Oh, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Yeah, let's talk about the saucer. Oh, the saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mimi. She's a perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. My cat? Oh! Flowers. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He always asks how you're doing in school. He gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, he always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he, if he likes... If he likes... The awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. Oh, we got a bit of a romance going on with like Gazgore and and Alphys. That'd be really cute. This is going on so long. I'm gonna cut this episode in half. This is going on so so long. Noel, hello. Noel Holiday. Oh hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you, in case. Ah, uh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again. And... Sorry, Chris, I'll help you later. That's okay. See you at school, Chris. Mm, Chris? Do you want to talk about something? Susie. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something? That's okay. Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. I suppose, you tell me about her, if that's okay. She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood. Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, and maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Okay. Oh, we haven't done all the options. Hang on. We need to do all the dialogue options. Key. Huh? Why don't I ask my mum for the key? I, I mean, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Catty's. Okay. And we go and we'll go up this way. To my house. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Do not eat it all this time. The bathroom, it's not my bedroom. We'll go to bed then. Oops. Ah, oh, doors in this. Doors, doors, doors. Is that my room? If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? No, you will sleep later. Is there anything else? The door is locked. Well, to be honest, then, I think that that's, uh, that's maybe the end for us. I'll say yes. You decided to go to bed. And is that it? Okay. Because it keeps continuing and continuing, I'm just going to like keep recording. And um, we'll see where things go and I'll chop it up as appropriate. Where's he sleepwalking? I'm not touching any buttons. Okay. This is extremely strange.
He threw his heart into the cage of the car. And he's got an evil look on his face and a sword in his hand. What a weird... It's not the end, because that is weird if that's the end. <gasps> what a cliffhanger. When the light is running low and the shadows start to Oh, cool. There's a lovely little song. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth, the promise in our hearts. This reminds me awfully of the um, the singing from Don't forget Kewin. I'm with you in the dark. To be continued. Chapter two. Ooh.